I uh, got two, uh, two COVID tests this morning, one in Delaware and one by the former White House doc who came up, and everything's clear. We want to make sure everything was clear before I came. Look, uh, let's, I would like to start by acknowledging, which I'm sure all of you do as well, sending my prayers for the health and safety of the First Lady and President, uh, the President of the United States after they tested positive for COVID-19. My wife, Jill, and I prayed that they'll make a quick and full recovery. This is not a matter of politics. It's a bracing reminder to all of us that we have to take this virus seriously. It's not going away automatically. We have to do our part to be responsible. It means following the science, listening to the experts, washing our hands, social distancing, it means wearing a mask in public and means encouraging others to do so as well. It means having masking mandates nationwide. Leading scientists from the University of Washington tell us that we can save more than 100,000 American lives in the next 100 days alone if everyone wore a mask in public. So let me repeat that because it's so important. We can save 100 thousand lives in the next 100 days, according to the head of the CDC, if everyone wears a mask in public. So be patriotic. It's not about being a tough guy. It's about doing your part. Wearing a mask is not only going to protect you, but it also protects those around you. Your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, husband, wife, neighbor, co-worker. Don't just do it for yourself. Do it for the people you love the people you work with. The seriousness of this virus also underscores that we need regular testing with results turned around rapidly and that's available to everyone. It's not just the folks in the White House or who travel with me that deserve regular testing. It's folks in the meatpacking and food processing plants, grocery store workers. Every single American deserves safety and peace of mind. And it means we need transparency those who test positive need to participate in contact tracing so that everyone who they may have exposed can get tested themselves. That's how you stop transmission for any epidemic. It's basic. We need to take the science of fighting this disease seriously if we're going to save lives. And above all, the news is a reminder that we as a nation need to do better in dealing with this pandemic. 